Mike Tuguven, Nika Aapina Nuch, Nunia Nigat Supari. My name is Nathan Strongout, the acting director of the Southern Ute Culture Center and Museum located in Ignacio, Colorado. I'd like to introduce you to Honorable Chairman Jimmy R. Newton, Jr., who will tell you more about the Southern Ute tribal people. Colorado has two federally recognized tribes, the Southern Ute Indian tribe, of course, uh, Ute Mountain Ute tribe. In Utah, they have the Uinta Array uh, Reservation uh, tribe, but now they're the Ute tribe. For Utes or as natives, art is just a, a way of life. I think with any museum is, of course, survival. Um, knowing that uh, recession has hit um, all of us and we're not immune from that. Uh, and But also, uh, again, the culture preservation and knowing that that is housed within our beautiful facility over there, um, the many artifacts. And we demonstrate and show the rest of the world that Southern Ute people are still here and living through the teachings of our elders and the culture and the traditions our youth and the next generation and the rest of the world that uh, our way of life will continue forever. The way, uh, thank you. The Southern Ute Culture Center and Museum participated in the National Museum of the American Indian Artist Leadership Program in 2013. Five local artists participated in the Artist Leadership Program at the Southern Ute Culture Center and Museum <laughs> to share their community art experience with youth and elders. Here are their stories. We live on the most beautiful reservation, and I'm always amazed by the beauty of the Pine River Valley. Artists, we see things differently. We appreciate all the environment. They think that watercolor is so difficult and that they can't do it. So when you have that mindset, that's exactly what's gonna happen. So I try to help them to see that those colors are important, that they work together. I'm not so much the realistic art, except for the bear dance. I wanted to show the students a more contemporary and modern medium that's used in everyday life. I'm really big on the aspect of the youth and community. If we can build a stronger foundation for them to experience um, different things within their own community to where they won't be too shy or scared to adventure out on something new that they want to try, then that can build a stronger foundation for the next generation and keeping um, jobs here and just growing not only the tribe but the community as well. I am a support analyst and in my job I have to create training material. Our class would help me get ideas on how I communicate to my audience. My grandfather, he went to school to become an artist, and my brother went to school to become a graphic designer, so it's just in my blood. The world, um, in terms of Native art, is changing, and I think that there are more uh, working artists who are Native American who are working with contemporary mediums. What I see a lot of young tribal people focusing on and stumbling with is their value in terms of education. How they are valued as tribal people, uh, perspectives, worldview, contribution, the whole gamut, and how can they validate it because currently it isn't validated. And so part of that journey really focuses on looking back at archival photos and studying the historical context around those photos, how they were created and why they were created, and for what audience. So in our workshop, we focus on creating a self-portrait. The students get to choose um, how they are presented to you know whoever, whatever audience they would like and accompanying the portrait is a small piece of writing. It can be a poem, it can be a memoir, it can also be an alternate version of history. Part of it is to examine our own role and connection with this idea of colonization, um, ideas of sovereignty, ideas of um, cultural identity. 
How does that relate to the lives that we live in the 21st century? I'm an established artist and I want to share with others how not to do things the hard way in order to to just get to the point where a person could create uh, a masterpiece of artwork without the limitations of a material and that was my main goal of sharing the knowledge of um, beadwork. Art is very precious to me. Beadwork should be touched, beadwork should be worn, it should be alive and a lot of times a lot of our beadwork went in the ground with our loved ones. The reason I'll pull out photos is to share with that knowledge that I have about things that we don't just come from an idea or an item. We are human beings. We're transitioning living beings that have have a place in time. And they did. They had their home. They, they, they integrated modern things today. They express themselves in an in enormous and infinite variety of life. And to them, the most important thing was to live and to be. And I share that in the photos that I, that I um, bring or look for to find them because they're gone to, to see them in the way they were. And they're there. They're, I don't like to look at them and, and see their items. I like to see them. When someone knows the old way of dyeing wool with natural plants or native plants, I think it brings um, memories back to the people that their great, their grandmothers or grandfathers or great grandfathers and mothers had done this before. How they kept all this precious um, knowledge of preserving uh, cultural materials through the work of art. And I try to present this to my students when I teach classes because it's very important to, to understand where we came from as people, how our elders have suffered in the past due to a lot of issues through the United States government, but we managed to survive. We hung on to our cultural beliefs, our arts and crafts, and um, our philosophy. I love dyeing wool. Uh, it's a natural process for me. Experience the variety of colors that each plant can give. I, I like to see them progress in the future to where they will know the business of art. This is very crucial um, in becoming an artist and documenting your work, uh, knowing the business aspect of it, knowing the wheeling and dealing, marketing, business plan, selling. You need to know that in this in the world today. If you com combine technology and computers with the old way, I think the youth would be very interested in, in um, experiencing these new pass down methods of arts and crafts. I'd like to thank each of you for sharing your experience on our journey here at the Southern Culture Center and Museum. Mm -hmm.